Good afternoon, everybody. This is Leo Vallant, your YouTube Messiah, up from his afternoon nap. And before getting to writing my book, I decided, well, my duty as YouTube Messiah is to look at a few <laughs> videos first. Hollywood has to change. This was put up by Captain Midnight. And it ran for about yeah, 14 minutes. It was good. And the point that I took from it was actors, well, writers, writers for the first thing. It's on TV shows. It's, they were p part of the production team. They were hanging around. They were in the same office. They got to do everything. And so what it did was it synthesize them into the system it's they'd start as writers and then there would be some place to go from there but what happens now is oh guess what it's so good now you get to work from home whenever anything one has to contact you it's on zoom and they tell you what to write you write it you send it in they pay you and this is where we go into the actors. It's back in the old TV shows. Like, uh, even bit parts, it was always somewhere in the contract that you would get residuals if this show kept running and running. It rewarded good shows. And it also, well, it was income. It's a profession. It's... Uh, an industry has to be sustainable, and it's sustainable because, well, it's the workforce, your wage slave, your army of wage slaves. They're there, and they're not going to desert. They're not going to go AWOL. They're all getting paid. They're all bound. They're all bound into the system with chains of gold. <laughs> Now, it's, uh, this guy knows all about it. Yeah, Captain Midnight, Hollywood has to change. He knows all about it. It's, now the actors, it's, it's, they're not getting paid much up front because they're all starving, they're all hungry, and then they don't get residuals. It's, okay, am I crying for them? No, it's my, if I have agenda, it's the, it's my messianic mission. It's the machine intelligence and robotics era that is coming before us. And what, so the way that would impound on my thinking is that artificial intelligence, machine intelligence can just train on all the movies it's ever since the beginning and it would even be helpful it's what they what we would do is you don't need actors you need archetypes it's pers persona archetypes you have a movie it's what does a casting director do but look for archetypes what what person walking into this audition will best be a vehicle for the persona archetype, the persona ideal we wish to reflect in this movie, even if it's a bit part. Like they say, there's no small parts, there's only small actors. Even a small part, if done according to a, a persona ideal that just captures the archetype, that would be fine. Hey! What I'm saying is, fire all the actors. It's we have the we can train on all the movies from all around the world. From what is it? It's 1920 up till now. We and especially as Disney in the old days, Warner Brothers cartoons. What they focused on is it's. Yes, it's artists. You know, artists have, you know, they're people of spirit. It's you tell an artist your conception of a persona ideal. 
they're going to draw it. That's that's a genius human intelligence. Well, genius human intelligence is exactly what machine intelligence is going to be built for. It's we are we have the supercomputers. We can do it, and so we'll all be fine. And okay. They don't have to go on strike. They're demanding. What they're doing is, we can't survive unless we get what we want. Okay, sad news. <laughs> sad news is we will all be better off when you're gone. Because trained machine intelligence will give the customer exactly what they want. They'll create a predictive model. They'll have a predictive model of what how successful the movie is. They'll go, oh, we want to add a scene. And they, they, they download the scene. And the predictive model will go, nope. It will either stretch the envelope out, oh, yeah, more successful, or it will contract. It's... And now you say, oh, it's going to be mass production of the common denominator. It doesn't have to be. It's predictive modeling. When you have, when you have a supercomputer and you go, uh, isn't a supercomputer crunching anything? Can't we give it some sort of a predictive model that we'd like to know? After all, you know, we might as well keep this thing running. So they could do niche movies. Okay. I'm we haven't done anything for the over 50 crowd. And so boom, it's the computer could go, "Oh, I've been churning away on my spare times and just showed a predictive model profiles for different genres it could do." It's we we've already generated some stories because it what does when you're not running uh, machine intelligence, a supercomputer machine intelligence on some one particular thing, you can just give it tasks, tasks to do on your downtime, so that all, so that you know, it's always running all the time for the profit of those who own it. But yeah. It's, I hope I had the camera on for this rant. Oh, yeah. Thank you, everybody.